Okay, Sawyer, it's that time again to let everybody know how big you are. What? Hey, Sawyer, remember in the last video how you slept through it and you were so calm? Remember that? Yeah, I guess a lot has changed. In this last month. Oh my gosh. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be talking about the size of a four month old or exactly 16 and a half week old Kavapu puppy. So here is Sawyer and he's going to be our little dog model because he is exactly 16 and a half weeks old today. And we are making these videos so that you can get an idea of how big your Kavapu puppy is going to end up being. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the size of the parents, because that is always helpful to know. Sawyer's mom is a 15 pound Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, and dad is a nine pound miniature poodle. So of course it's going to make a difference how big the poodle parent is, if they are a toy poodle or a miniature poodle. Generally I feel like they're usually miniature poodles, which are that nine to 10 pounds. But if for some reason you don't know the size of the parents, then you could probably get a good idea based on our weekly updates here, how he's growing. And by the way, you can find his two earlier updates done at 11 and a half and 13 and a half weeks. I'll link those videos in the description and in the first comment underneath this video. But for now, let's get going. So wait, I just weighed a little Sawyer and he is currently 8.9 pounds. So he is 8.9 pounds at 16 and a half weeks old. To give you an idea of his weight gain, for our last update, which was at 13 and a half weeks, Sawyer at that time weighed six and a half pounds. And I'm gonna put the metrics on the screen for you if you use that. So in three weeks from his third to his fourth month, Sawyer gained 2.4 pounds. So we could say that he gained between his third and fourth month, three quarters, approximately three quarters of a pound per week between weeks 13 and 16. And he is full on teething mode. And now his little baby teeth are strong enough. They weren't <laughs> like even a week ago to actually bite through this and eat it, but now they are. But this is any kind of chewing things are lifesaver right now, bully sticks, these. Okay, so now we're gonna do the girth measurement, which is right behind their little armpits and all the way around. And this measurement is important for knowing the size of what harness you're going to get. Good boy. Okay, so that measurement is 15 and a half. And I remember, hi honey, at his 11 and a half week old, it was, I think 11 and a half. Yes, it was 11 and a half. So, so he has gained four inches. I can't believe it on his girth. You're getting to be such a big boy. Believe it or not, Sawyer started out wearing this tiny little pals harness which it doesn't even have. Oh, okay. This is called extra small, but of course every brand is different because we have this Voyager size extra small harness as well. Yeah, size extra small. So obviously you can see there's a huge difference between the two. And this one was big on his shoulders and armpits for the last update. And now it fits him perfectly. But we actually also have, <laughs> he's behind me getting his toy. You got your duck toy? Okay, so, but I have this harness for him because he has a little bit of growing room, but it's still not big enough to fall off of him. And this is an extra small as well. And this brand is Worthy Dog. So you could see even between these two, there's quite a bit of difference in the shoulder area and in the girth on these. So you really have to check your brands because there will be in some cases, quite a big difference between what is considered an extra small. But like I said, I got this because I just really love the pattern with his fur and I like how secure it is with Velcro and the 
clip as well with the double loop for his leash. How you doing? And he is probably going to need to go up a size at some point, but we're not there yet and we're not rushing it. And of course, you never want to just use a collar on such a delicate little neck on these small breed dogs. You always want to have a harness and they can easily slip out of a collar and it's just too harsh on their neck and their trachea. So these are nice and comfortable and they can also give like an anxious dog a nice feeling of security to have a snug harness, much like a thunder shirt or something like that. So now we're going to do his length, which is of course from his shoulder blades to his tail being such a good boy. And that is 12 inches. So he is one foot long. Oh. Okay, this is kind of perfect because we're working on sit and I need him to do that. So I'm going to measure his height from his paw to his shoulder, also known as the withers. <laughs> Swear sit. Good boy. So that is, that is, I'm going to call that 10 and a half inches. He's 10 and a half inches tall. I believe he was nine inches tall at his 13 and a half. So he's definitely grown in height as well, which I can really tell because his little legs have gotten so long. Like they just look so long. Yeah. By the way, one other change that I can really see in him, oh, good boy, is the color of his fur. He always had this nice reddish, you know, Blenheim color on his ears and head. Oh, we're not biting fingers though. And his body was lighter. And now his body color is darkening and catching up to the color of his ears, which is really cute and nice. And you'll see the difference if you look at like those earlier update videos. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this was this used to be his sleeping time of day and now I guess we're gonna call this his busy time of day but you know what he's getting older and so he's getting more busy and more wanting to play and we're taking advantage of that by teaching him some little commands which we're gonna make a video on soon Sawyer sit good boy there you go I know, Sawyer, paw, ah, good boy. <laughs> okay, but that's gonna be for another video. For now, we wanna say thank you so much for watching. We hope this video was helpful to you. <laughs> I think you need to play here. Well guys, this concludes our four month puppy size update. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you found it helpful. Let us know how your puppy is coming along or if you're planning on getting a puppy. Like the video, subscribe if you aren't already. We would love to have you and we'll see you guys all next time. Bye everyone.